ओके हेलो ओके सो लेट्स वेट फॉर द अदर्स और नॉट हेलो हाय जस्टिन हाय कॉर्डस केयर हाय हार्वी सो लेट्स वेट सॉरी लम मैं जब पहले पापा वैसे ना कहते हम्म ओ कॉर्डस केयर ओ हेलो Oh, go lang, go lang. Sige. Uh, let's wait for the others pala kasi um, yeah, may meron pang sasama. <clears throat> Naririnig niyo naman ako, right? Nice, nice. No? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> okay, sige. Yay. So, ang konti lang natin ang uh, intimate as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's wait a bit, a bit lang kasi meron pa nga na. So, See you, nice. Um, start to tayo? Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Uh, okay, we can start now, actually. Yeah, we, we can start now. So, okay. So, yung first question would be, um, what, what is, uh, what is machine learning? So, um, um, this is actually kind of, oh yeah, kayo, kayo guys, what, what do you think? Um, Comment lang kayo kung thoughts kayo. 
Okay. So, what is machine learning? So, uh, actually, mahirap to define, to be honest. Kasi, and actually, marami kang mahanap na, marami kang mahanap na definitions online. Like, for example, sa Wikipedia, uh, sabi nila na machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Uh, but, yeah, uh, but then again, what is intelligence? Like, di ba? What is learning? Mahirap yun actually define sila. Parang mapupunta na sa philo philosophy territory. Uh, so, wag nila yung tayo dun. Uh, so, hindi siya sufficient na, na definition. Like, hindi siya specific enough. And, um, yung another na definition would be um, machine learning algorithms use statistics to find patterns in massive amounts of data. So, uh, yung problem with this is that you don't actually need like a lot of data to do machine learning. Uh, may al algorithms na that works even if um, kunti pa lang yung data mo. Uh -huh. And another thing is that hindi kailangan yung statistics. You don't need to know statistics to um, to do machine learning. Yeah, and this is actually the reason why um, yeah, you don't need statistics. And this is the reason why, I'm sorry to say, pero uh, maraming, good, maraming people sa industry that are good enough, double quotes, pero uh, relatively incompetent. So, uh, well, uh, kinda kasal, <laughs> kasama na tayo dun. Uh -huh. So, uh, yun nga, uh, yun nga uh, yung machine learning, di mo kailangan ng statistics, pero it's very important. So, yeah. Um, eh, pero anyway, uh, for this, for this talk, for this, like, for the next three hours, di ko kayo tuturuan ng statistics whatsoever. Yung goal ko lang is for you guys to learn kung ano yung core concept behind machine learning and how to make bybyan a bybyan classifier and of course how to code them. So uh, after this, I hope na mag-aral kayo more, especially yung math side dito. Kasi, yun nga, para ma-master nyo talaga. Ah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, actually, wala pang like, specific and standard na def definition ng machine learning. So, uh, and nakikinig ako, ako actually sa mga like, talks ng mga like, pioneers, yung mga experts. And then, what I noticed is that um, lahat ng mga definitions nila are actually contradictory. Parang wala pang, wala pang one definition for machine learning. So, uh, so, instead of, so, instead of defining it muna, let's focus na lang on kung paano siya ginagamit. Kasi, yun nga, kung i-define muna natin, mag maguguluhan tayo more. So, uh, okay, Okay, can you follow pa guys? Uh, hey, come on. Okay, so, uh, okay, so for this, okay, make sure na nakakapalaw pa kayo. Okay, sige. Um, for this, uh, actually, maraming ano, maraming flavors or maraming uh, branches of machine learning rin. Pero dito, let's focus on supervised learning. Uh, so, sa supervised learning, essentially, you have an input, this, you have an input and you have an output. So, ideally, um, yung goal natin sa by buy-in classification is to find a function that somehow converts like this image ito to a label so this is a a uh -oh. so we want to find this function so uh sa traditional na like traditional na computer science di ba essentially tayo yung magta-type or essentially tayo yung magko-code kung ano yung function na to 
uh, yung maganda sa machine learning is that we could automatically find this function. Uh, kasi, di ba isipin nyo, okay, how do you convert images of bye-bye into this? Di ba? Like, mahirap naman kung mag if else if else lang kayo, di ba? It's, it's very hard actually. So, um, with machine learning, automatic na natin tumahanap. So, um, may problem tayo. Uh, so, yung first na problem natin is that yung mga computers don't actually um, understand uh, images and words. Like, they're very good at computing. And then, di ba, under the hood, di ba yung computers? Essentially, they just, they're just good at processing numbers. So, uh, if meron tayong image and meron tayong words, we need to convert them muna into numbers. So, okay, kasi yun lang talaga kasi yung kaya makonvert, kaya makompute ng computers, di ba? So, uh, yeah. So, let's focus lang muna on the label part dito. So, one thing we could do would be um, to convert yung mga words or like yung mga syllables into integers. So, okay, uh, may tanong ako guys. Oh, hi guys. Um, so, Okay, um, ano yung pinaka-obvious na encoding? Example, uh, if you have a, uh, then you have ba, like a, uh, a, uh, ba, ka, da, e, ano yung pinaka-obvious na encoding? Diba it's, um, yung a, uh, encode mo to zero, a, uh, ba, ka, da, hanggang ya, like zero, one, two, something, something, hanggang eighteen, diba? Um, obvious naman, right? So, yung image uh, this correspond, corresponds to this uh, ba corresponds to 1 ya corresponds to 18 and pabalik diba it makes sense naman diba yung encoding so uh, yung goal lang talaga natin is like to convert these into numbers ito na kaya ma-process ng mga computers okay so uh, so may prob okay so parang ganito ba oh? So, from our label, di ba, earlier, meron tayong ito. Ito lang, di ba? Image to label. Pero, before actually we could find this, convert lang muna natin. So, label, encode natin to integers. And then, yeah, we have, of course, we have a function pa balik. Like, we have a function from an integer to decoding. It's simple as, like, kung may integer, let's say, 1, you could decode it by going back. Like, 1 corresponds to ba. 18 corresponds to, yeah, ganun. Meron tayo nito. Anyway, uh, ito yung problem. Yung encoding na to, hindi nakakapag-preserve ng relative distance. Uh, so, for example, di ba, yung A and ba doesn't look the same. Like, they're so far visually when you think of, di ba, parang kung tignan mo ulit. Ito parang reverse heart, kasi ito V na fancy V. Pero yung a uh, and ya are similar, di ba? A uh, and ya are similar visually. Uh, so ngayon, um, pero sa encoding natin, yung a, uh, which is zero, malapit sa ba, which is one. Di ba? Pero yung a uh, naman and ya are far apart. Uh, far, di ba? Zero and eighteen. Malapit, uh, malayo sila sa encoding, pero visually they look the same. ba So, parang may problem sa encoding na to. Uh, so, we need a better encoding. Uh, so, um, to make things simpler, um, let's assume na lang na yung images are equally similar. So, let's assume na lang na yung uh, this this image and this is uh, how do I like yung similarity between these three are the same di ba so dapat yung encoding natin should be the same uh, uh, no no sorry <laughs> hindi the same like yung distance sa encoding natin should be the same 
di ba? Kasi dito, like, yung distance between 0 and 1 is 1. Distance between 0 and 18 is 18. So, um, yung goal natin is to make yung distances nila dito equal. Di ba? Okay. So, how do we do that? Um, kung tatlo lang sila, di ba? We could, like, essentially, we could place um, yung mga labels na to into, like, uh, and then, like, sa sides ng equilateral triangle, uh, di ba? Same yung distances nito, actually, nila. It makes sense naman, di ba? Uh, guys, um, comment lang kayo kung may, ano, may questions kayo. So, ito yung problem. What if more than 3 na yung labels natin? This is the, if I'm not mistaken, uh, ra, uh, so, a, ba, ya, da. Uh -huh. So, yung, yung one way would be, um, kung ilagay natin sila sa like isang square, sa corners ng isang square. Yung problem with this lang is that, um, yeah, it, di ba example, yung distance dito, and distance dito, distance dito, and distance dito, are equal, pero these are far apart. Di ba? Yung distance dito ay 1, distance dito ay square root of 2. So, uh, so yeah, it, it, it breaks our assumption. So, um, so, actually, kung more than 3 na yung labels natin, hindi lang enough yung two dimensions of integers. Uh, kailangan natin sila ilagay sa more dimensions. Uh, so, di ba yung sa atin earlier dito lang? Uh, so, instead na yung A, i-label mo lang sa zero, gawa ka na lang na, convert mo na lang into like, uh, some kind of like, a list of integers. Uh, so, instead na may isa ka lang integer, my list count of integers. So, kung a, 1 lang, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Kung ba, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Dot, 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 hanggang mapunta ka sa ya, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, hanggang 1. Diba? Uh -huh. So, uh, notice na, dito, yung mga distances nito are actually equal. Uh -huh. Yung tawag sa encoding na to is uh, one hot encoding. So I just gusto ko lang ibigay sa inyo yung like intuition. So essentially, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry kung may nako-confuse sa inyo, pero uh, yung goal lang talaga natin is like to encode this into numbers na kaya ma-process ng mga computers. All right? So uh, we could actually stop here sa integer encoding. Yeah, we we could we could stop here actually, and then like you know what? Uh, let's continue. Pero uh, yun nga, may major problematic yun na approach. So uh, introduce ko na lang kayo kaagad dito sa so, one half encoding. So ngayon, essentially, meron na tayo ito structure nito. So um, instead na yung image, maghanap tayo ng function na from image to label kaagad. What we could do instead is find a function from image to vector muna. Uh, vector representation, which is, di ba ito? This is just a vector, di ba? Vector, a vector. Hmm. So, instead na image to label ka agad, why not image to vector na lang and then apply these functions, di ba? It makes sense naman, di ba? Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yay, nice. May ano na tayo. Uh, meron na tayo niyan. So, uh, ito yung problem. Yung images, again, hindi yan, hindi yan naintindihan ng computers pa. Essentially, they, they, could, they, don't, they can display it, pero they don't double quotes understand it. So, uh, um, kailangan natin sila i-convert lang muna into uh, numbers, kind of numbers. And, pero, notice na Diba yung images? These images? Uh, they are made up of pixels. Yeah. Yan yeah, yung mga pixels na yan. So, uh, 
when you think about it, yung mga images are actually matrices of numbers. Uh, so, yung, yung colored numbers are more complicated, pero just think of them as like a table. Parang, um, parang may Excel ka of numbers. Uh, yan yung mga images actually under the hood. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah. So, essentially, we could extract these pixels and pakakuha tayo ng matrix. Diba? So, uh, ngayon, diba, instead of transforming na lang an image to a vector kaagad, what we could do is, take our image, kunin lang muna yung pixels, do machine learning to convert up into a vector, apply these functions, and then makukuha rin natin yung label. Diba? Uh -huh. So, uh, from here, okay, uh, you could follow pa naman guys. Okay, uh, vibe check. <laughs> Sorry. Sige, uh, okay, pause lang muna tayo dito and then ask. Uh, okay, um, Okay. Wala bang questions? Oh, okay. Upper upper left. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, arg Oh, arg marks. Oh, ah, arg marks. Arg max. So um Kung titignan nyo to, uh, ito, um, yung arg mark, max essentially is, um, anong index yung may maximum na, uh, ano yung index na may maximum na number? So, um, for example, ito, uh, we can convert yung integer 0 into this by essentially, like, initially 0 lang muna silang lahat, and then, gawin mong 1 yung yung zeroth na entry. And then, dito naman, uh, gawin mong one yung first entry. Then, uh, dito, um, gawin mong one yung eighth entry. So, um, yung arg max is essentially ano yung index na may maximum number. So, in this case, uh, yung index na may maximum number would be one. Diba? Oh, okay. 1. Dito, 18. Dito, 0. Make sense? Ah! Copy ng slides? Alright. Uh, wait lang. Baka, baka hindi kayo ma... Kayo... Makinig eh. So, after, after this na lang. In, in a few minutes. Uh, send. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. So, um, okay. Uh, makinig lang muna kayo, okay? So, uh, rap, rap. Okay na pa yung, ano? Um, okay na pa yung explanation for arg max? Uh, so, yeah, yan yung ano natin ngayon. So, instead na, yeah, okay. So, ito. So, what we can do na lang is, instead na, di ba mag -e -f, parang, instead na directly na maghanap ng function from image to label, what we can do is like, find a function na lang from a matrix to a vector. Yung matrix, this matrix represents this image. Then, this vector represents this label. So, ito yung goal natin hanapin. Uh, ito yung goal natin hanapin. So, um, 
may dalawang ways to proceed from here. Uh, actually, may maraming ways, pero uh, I'm gonna discuss two ways. Uh, so, yung one would be kung gumamit kayo ng convolutional na neural network. Uh, so, um, dito, di pa meron tayong image to matrix. Um, yung ginagawa ng convolutional neural network is kinoconvert niya yung isang matrix to a smaller matrix na parang madali na lang ma-process later on. So like image to matrix, then convolutional neural network to convert to a smaller matrix, then flatten, argmax, then decode. Then may label na tayo. Yay! Diba? So that's one way. Pero uh, yung simpler would be um, if i-flatten lang muna natin yung matrix. And then, dito na tayo, uh, gumamit lang tayo ng like common na neural network from a vector to like a smaller vector. So, maybe may meron sa inyong confused kung ano yung like, ano yung meaning ng pag-flatten out ng vector. Essentially, uh, <laughs> draw online. Let's, uh, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna draw something on line. Okay, love. So, di ba may, let's say, may, may ano tayo, may matrix, this. Um, we could flatten this out by, for example, example ito, kunin lang muna natin to, and then, like, ilagay natin dito. Uh, then next, ito naman. Uh, and then next, ito naman. Uh, diba? That, that's, uh, that's how you flatten a matrix. Uh, gets naman right? Uh, gets naman right? So, uh, uh, so, instead na parang may malaki tayong matrix na kinda hard to work with, we could flatten it lang muna into a vector, uh, or an ordinary vector, and then, like, gumamit tayo ng neural network to convert this vector that represents the image to a vector that represents the label. And then from there, apply, apply na lang yung function. Diba? So, um, actually, okay, this leads actually sa ano, um, personal definition ko kung ano yung machine learning. For me, for me lang to ha, kasi maraming definitions online. Um, machine learning is the process of automatically finding functions or transformations of data na kailangan natin. So, for example, ito. Uh, we need to find this function. We don't know what it is. Pero we know kung ano yung input and output niya, di ba? We don't, we don't know what it is, pero we know yung, in, yung input and output. With machine learning, we could find this function or like an approximation of it. Yan yung, that, this is why I like machine learning. Uh, uh, so yeah, yan yung personal definition ko ng machine learning. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, na discuss ko na yung yung bigger like big bigger structure na uh, like yung overall structure kung paano gumawa ng uh, uh, ng classifier so um, may questions ba kayo pas na muna tayo kasi uh, after this um, I'm gonna teach you how to code it na so uh, ask questions please <laughs> Uh, okay. So um okay we could 
we could ano this into a Sige, um, tanong lang kayo. Uh, okay, for, for this, yeah, grayscale lang siya. So, um, essentially, we end up with this. So, it, essentially, ito na yung parang neural network natin. Uh, yung, yung whole, ano. So, yung machine, yung machine learning part lang dito is like this. We, we need to find this part. Yung part lang na to. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, send ko na sa inyo yung, ano, yung link. Um, okay, send ko sa group. Send ko sa GC. Wait lang ha. Ah, oh, okay. Sige. So, um, okay, I, I just sent the, ano, the, uh, the PPT. Okay, as much as I want to ask question, wala akong may clear. So, yeah. Ah, yeah, okay lang yan. Oh, don't, nabigyan ka ba ng edit, edit access? Oh, shit. Oopsies. Sige, sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, um Yay. So uh, yung next naman natin yung <laughs> Oops. Um Okay, and and then sa DSC ano, share na lang at share na lang sa inyo. So, uh, okay. For the next step. Yay. What I want you to do is punta kayo sa collab.research.com. This site. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Colab that research that Google that com. And then na ba kayo? Oh yeah, um, actually, okay guys, uh, okay, okay, um, let's, let's have a vote, 
Okay, um, do you want me to send the code na lang like right now? Tapos explain ko na lang sa inyo what hap what's happening or do you want me to code from scratch and like, explain step by step or, or something? I mean, I'm gonna explain naman step by step like sa both cases. So, uh, so yeah, um, just comment. Um, do you want me to send the code or do you want me to start over? from scratch okay code from scratch all right so um Okay, um, andun na ba kayo sa Google Colab? Dito? Wait lang ha? Aha. Okay, uh, it's easy. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, that's, uh, okay. So, okay, I'm gonna start over na lang. Sige. So, um, wait lang a bit. Uh, wait, wait lang a bit ha. Um, punta na lang kayo muna doon and then like uh, sa mga bago pa lang, create a new notebook. Okay. So, hi Tubes. So, okay. Uh, meron tayo dito people na hindi pa um Probably, ano, hindi pa comfortable with Python and Colab Notebook. So, uh, okay, so introduce ko na lang muna sa inyo what, what this is. So, uh, okay, ito yung Colab Notebook. Uh, you can code here. So, uh, um, and then, maybe you could print like, hello world. Start. Yeah. Brief introduction, introduction lang to ha. So, I'm gonna assume na most of you are actually relatively comfortable na with, ano, with uh, Python and Colab Notebook. Okay. So, um, anyway, from here, what I want you to do is import yung necessary stuff. So, for now, wait, wait lang ha. Uh, from PIL, import image. And, and then, import CV2. So, um, yung ginagawa ng mga ito ay um, essentially, ito yung gagamitin natin pag load and save ng images. Yeah. So, um, okay. And, let's go back. Okay, um, yung data set source okay kailangan ko pa lang ano and what i want you to do next is git clone this um i'm sorry you have to type this out so So, um, ito, andito kasi yung dataset natin. So, uh, let's 
let's thank uh, GM Bantai for the data set. So anyway, um, my data set no online, we could just download it with this. Okay. And then, um, tignan nyo dito sa table of, uh, ano, sa file section. Yeah. Nakikita nyo yan? If nakikita nyo na to, it means na uh, nag-work yung ano nyo. Nag-work yung um, pag-copy nyo, pag-download ng file. Okay. So, um, yay! So, next thing na you could do is, okay, let's go back. Tign tignan natin yung raw. Okay. Ilang labels yung nakikita nyo? Oh, may ganda glad. Oh, 18, di ba? There should be parameter files. Aha. Diba? May 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh, 19. Sorry. 19, 19 of them. Oh, okay. So, um... So, first, let's prepare lang muna natin yung data. So, input natin yung, uh, yung input shape natin is like 64 by 64. So, essentially, um, ito yung size ng images sa ano na to, sa contents na to. Uh, sa images na to inside. So, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, hindi ko na-explain ng medyo clear. So, yung ginawa natin dito sa git clone is essentially download whatever is inside this ano, uh, this link. So, pag-download natin, ito yung nakuha natin. And then, sa, sa loob, ito yung laman. And then, di ba, ito mga folders to. Then, for each of these folders, like my around a thousand na images for each ano, um, actually, you could, you, could, you could visit the ano. This is the link, yeah, this. Uh, so, for each folder, may around, may thousands of files doon. Let's wait na lang. So, yeah, in, anyway, ganun. Let's wait lang a bit, it, it lags. So, anyway, yeah. So, yung... Ito yung input, design natin na input shape, 64 by 64. So, it means na, di ba yung matrix natin earlier? Ito, 64 by 64 sila. Alright. So, um, so now, um, what we want to do is code this part. Di ba? Uh, we want to code this part, yung encoding from label to integer and from integer to decoding. Uh, to do that, um, i-type out lang muna natin yung syllables na meron tayo. So, meron tayong A, Ba, Dara. Yung meaning dito is like, uh, yung ano na to is actually, it's either Da or Ra, depending on uh, paano ginamit yung yung letter uh -huh. e ga ha ka ko la ma na ma 
OU. Uh, just tell me kung may namiss ako. Ha? I, I hope naman wala akong namiss. Pa sa ta tool. Pa. Yeah. Yay. Uh, wala naman na, wala naman akong typo, di ba? I well, I, I hope wala akong typo. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go back and so this is how we encode na yung syllables. So essentially, for I in let essentially, um, yung A. <clears throat> yung A, A, like, i-encode natin to 0, yung ba to 1, dara to 2, E to 3, and so on. Diba? Hanggang ya to 18. So, then, syllables. Syllable, encoding, encoding, syllables, I, to I. So, Yung, enco yung encoding ng syllable i is i. Integer i. Then, let's see yung results. Yeah, there. Diba? It makes sense naman, diba? Ito yung, ito yung first part na the encoding. Okay. Now, how do we how do we make yung decoding na part from integer to label? Uh, from here, actually, very simple lang siya. Okay. Let's go to Define encode encode label label return a uh, syllable encoding of label. Okay. Yan na. Yay. May, may papunta na tayo dito from label to integer. Now, from integer to decoding, ano tayo? Def uh, decode label uh, X with in encoding return syllables ink. Oh, di ba? Essentially, dito yung input na in input is an integer. Hmm. So, kung mag input yung input data is 3, we know na mapupunta ka dito 0, 1, 2, 3. I. Oh, di ba? Oh, yay! Meron na tayong code for this. Yung pabalik. Back and forth. So, uh, yung next step naman natin is to find, uh, okay, let me, let me diverge na lang muna a bit. So, uh, from here, we can load the data na. Uh, ito, mamaya na to. Uh, Dito na lang muna natin. So, from image to matrix. So, essentially, pag-extract ng pixels or essentially loading of the pixels. Ano yung pag-display? So, dito lang muna tayo. Uh, from image to matrix and matrix to image. So, uh, Okay, guys, um, clear pa naman yung video, right? Okay, so, anyway, <laughs> kaya natin yan. Um, so, ano natin yung extract pixels? of a file name. So, uh, ito yun, diba? Like, uh, essentially, we want to code this part. Itong part na to. This part. We want to code this na. Alright? So, uh, what we can do is image pen 
Gamitin natin yung open file name. Image file. Image less. CV2 that resize. Image input shape. Yay. So, may ano na tayo, may na, ngayon, meron na tayong extra pixels, which is this part. So, um, ngayon, isabay na lang natin, i-load silang lahat. Like, load, uh, load, all images So uh, okay guys um just ask questions kung hindi na kayo nakaka-follow uh -huh. and then i'm just gonna be coding. So, uh, I'll assume na lang na nakaka-follow pa kayo, alright? Sige. Okay. So, um, okay, yung ginagawa actually ng function na ito, yung, like, yung lo load all images is, essentially, yeah, technically, load, load lang lahat ng, ng images, like extract pixels, and then encode yung corresponding label, and then ilagay sila sa x and then y -row. So, um, 
From here, actually, may nakalimutan tayo mga libraries. Uh, import OS. This is important. Import OS. Mm -hmm. Okay, kasi kung wala, wala kayo nyan, magkaka-error kayo dito. Alright. So, okay. From here, i-load na natin yung all images. Uh, load all images. Directory is... Okay, ano yung directory natin? Uh, by buying handwritten character data set. Tama ba? And then, slash raw. Ah, yeah, okay. So, sorry ah. Uh, may nakalimutan na ulit na mga ano. Import na lang natin lahat para fun. Uh, import na pay as np. Import pandas as pd. So, essentially, nag-import nag lang tayo ng mga necessary na ano, na libraries. Import tensorflow as df. Yeah. Uh, import tensorflow uh, uh, that gives us as dfk. So, um, gagamitin natin yung mga to later on. So, yeah, I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna wait for you na uh, makode yan. So, nakaka-follow pa naman kayo, right? So, I'm just gonna wait here until, like, in, yeah, I'm okay. Makapi nyo yan. Or you could just pause it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway let's go back. Uh, we, could, we could load na yung images. Let's wait lang a bit. It's loading. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. Yay! Load. Loaded. Then, let's check kung na-load ba natin sa lang lahat. Okay. So, you should have like around 38,000 na images. Yeah, that, that, that's a lot. <laughs> oh. uh, so, okay. So, yay! Um, nagawa na natin yung part na to. This part, you know, extra pixels part. So, uh, we could go this rin yung display. Uh, what we could do is, okay, uh, diff display image image uh, plt that figure plt dot and show image cmap plt dot cm dot binary plt dot grid false. Essentially, para maging cleaner, aha, PLT that show. Okay. Oh, the default version, uh, yeah, that's, uh, 
And that's, that's normal. Okay. I, I hope hindi siya maging problem later. Uh, na, like, I, I, I get that red text sometimes. So, yeah, you should be fine. So, um, okay, display image. Display natin yung first, yung first image sa so, dataset natin. Yay! Ano to? Quiz, quiz time. This is Okay, kung sino makasagot, may bonus. Ano yan? Yep. Tama! Yay! So yeah, di ba, like, okay, na, na-code na natin yung part na to. So, meron na tayong nito. Okay. Complicate slide. We have this na. We have this, this, this. We have, uh, na-ano na natin? And then we have these that it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yung next na gagawin natin would be um, yung this part. Okay. So this part. Okay. Um, to do that, Um, so first, convert lang muna natin to um, NumPy Arrays. Oh shit. Uh, oh, almost no button ako. Let's see. Uh, charge ko lang muna. Wait lang. Okay, I'm back. So, So, yung next naman would be um, yung uh, one hot encoding. So, okay. To check lang, sanity check. Check niyo yung shape ng data set niyo. Um, dapat same tayo makukuha. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. May problem. <laughs> May nakalimutan ako. Reshape to negative one one. Uh, kasi... Di ba nakikita nyo, we need to convert this to this, yeah. Dapat same yung shape ng, shape ng ano natin, ha? Okay lang. Yeah. Alright, and then next would be one hot encoding. So yung one hot encoding, madali lang yan. Uh, on hot encoding. 
then and then from there data uh, one hot we should get this uh, dapat same tayo yung makuha na ano na output shape alright okay so ngayon uh, we have this na we have this yay so yung arg box madali lang yan uh, this is just uh, as a name There. So yeah, easy. So meron na tayong ito at ito. Yay! Uh -huh. Okay. So now, okay, nakapag-follow pa kayo, right guys? So, okay. So now, Yung next na gagawin natin, ito yung, this is very, very important ha. Um, we will separate our code into, uh, wait lang, um, Oh my god, how do you, how do you delete? Anyway, uh, the value is it yung object. Uh, let's say ito yung data set natin. Sorry, ang gulo. What we do is, we split it into train and then test. Aha. Uh -huh. So, bakit natin uh, in split? It's because um, sa, sa data science or actually sa statistics, um, kailangan natin ng test set. Parang Yung, yung test set na to, hindi to nakikita ever ng machine learning or yung model mo, hindi to makikita. Yung makikita lang niya is yung train, training set. So, essentially, gamitin natin yung training set to make the model and then gamitin natin yung test set to test the model. Kung gano'n siya ka-accurate, kung such, yung mga gano'ng stuff. Uh, so, so, yeah. Um, ngayon, how do you Split them. Train test set. Okay, oh, have you x train x test y train y test split to train test split x data y data. Um, test size would be a uh, 20%? Aha. <clears throat> uh -huh. So, ngayon, okay, print. X train and print. X test. Okay, sanity check, check natin. So, um, dito, ibig sabihin parang may 30,000 tayong images na gagamitin natin pag-train ng model, essentially pag-create ng model natin. And then, um, 
we have like 7,000, around 7,700 uh, images para pang test. Like, essentially, ito yung, ito yung gagamitin natin, yung X-Test, to check kung gaano ka-accurate yung model natin later. Uh, so, yay! Uh, uh, so, yeah. So, actually, ngayon, okay na yung preparation natin. Like, oh, uh, thing is, di ba, ito yung ano natin, yung part na to from, from matrix, sorry, from, from this, di ba, meron tayong images, and then, na-extract na natin yung pixels, yung labels, na-encode na natin, and then, nag-one-hack encoding na tayo, di ba, um, so, ngayon, yung, ito na lang yung part na to, how do we convert a matrix that represent, represents the image to a vector that represents the label? Um, yung part na to is actually automated, can be automated na with TensorFlow uh, Keras. So, yeah. I, 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 like, I like this part. So, um, okay. And guys, okay, uh, pause lang muna tayo kasi yung next part, gagawa na tayo ng machine learning model. So, okay. Mga tanong ba kayo? Pwede makita yun. Oh, extract pixel function. Okay. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry pala. Okay. Um, ito. Essentially, from a file name, kung natin yung pixels. So, um, I'm gonna scroll na lang ulit from top to bottom para makita nyo. Okay, baka, baka may na-miss kayo, may nakalimutan kayo yung i-add or something. So, okay. Ito yung pag-import ng necessary na libraries. So, so yeah. And this is how we download the data. And then, uh, is uh, we prepare the data set. Dito ni yung encode and decode labels. Dito, dito part. And then, dito naman yung pag-load ng data set. Oh, like, di ba yung na-download? Essentially, pag-extract ng pag-pixels. Yeah, this part. Um, Visualize the data, the process, one hat encoding, yes, okay. So, okay, okay, na? once again. Okay. Okay, next step. Gagawa na tayo ng model. Yay! Ah! <laughs> oh, sige, sige. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go back. There.
Uh, okay na, chat? Sige. Uh, okay, sige, sige. Okay, gagawa tayo ng machine learning model. Yay! Okay, sige. Makinig kayo, ha? <laughs> so, actually, this is very easy lang nowadays. Like, you don't even need to know statistics and stuff like yung advanced math. So, uh, make sure na na-load nyo na yung ano ha, yung TensorFlow 1 class. Hmm. Kasi ito yung kailangan natin. So, kung ma-load nyo na yan, what we can just do is, ito, look at this, pfk dot sequential pfk dot layers dot flatten. Diba? It, yung flatten na to is this. Okay. O, parang may automatic flatten, flattening. So, input shape input shape. Okay. May flatten na tayo. Yay! We're done with this. Mm -hmm. And then, tfk that layers dense. 1024 uh, activation relu. So um, I, I I really I I really have the urge na explain to you every little detail dito. Pero ba baka ma baka malunod kayo sa math. So uh, so ngayon just assume na tama yung ginagawa ko na this is the the norm. Oh, all right. So May, may, may mga maraming math behind this, pero yung maganda dito is that, di ba, it's so much, ito, we can just type this and, uh, tama ba? Yeah, okay, we could just type this and then, yay, may model na tayo. Yan na yan, actually. Yan na yung, yan na yung model natin. So, um, what this means is that, um, okay, explain ko later kung bakit, kung anong nangyari dito. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, before that, before that. Sino dito yung umat ten sa Sino, sino sa inyo yung umatend sa introduction to neural networks ko na po? Ano na talk? Meron ba? <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently, wala. So, okay. Anyway, di ba, like yung... yung yung sinabi ko kanina na di mo naman talaga kailangan ng advanced math and like stuff to make a, mo a machine learning model. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, may di nyo, di nyo pa alam kung paano nag-work yung neur neural networks pero you can make them na with this. Okay, meron na tayo yan. And then, um, inspect lang muna natin. model that someone there so um okay yun yung mga parameters we could go back later then we could compile it uh, okay after building it dito we could compile it one two three compile model that compile optimizer adam 
law space categorical cross entropy matrix is accuracy And then after compiling, train the model. Uh -huh. So, um, di ba, like, dito na natin ilalagay si X-train and Y-train. Uh, which is, di ba, like, yung 80% of the original data. So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, kung mapapansin nyo, si X-train and Y-train lang yung makikita ng model mo. There. And then, we could train na the model. Could wait a bit. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, actually, mabilis lang to sa laptop ko. Like, sa laptop ko, around, ano lang to, around, uh, two minutes, tapos tapos na ako. So, let's wait a bit. So now, yung dito, nag-train na tayo ng model, di ba? Like, na-create na natin yung model, and then right now, we're just training it. Uh, let's wait lang a bit. Uh -huh. So guys, may mga tanong ba kayo or something? Okay. It's training pa. Ah, okay. Validation split. Ah, sorry. Um, yung validation split, di ba yung training set natin? Sorry. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's do stuff. Okay. Di ba ito yung original na data set natin? Sorry. What we do first is, split lang muna ito, uh, test and train set. And then, di ba ito yung, yung whole na uh, train set? Uh -huh. So, what we do is, we split it further pa. 
Tapos ito naman yung validation set. So, yung validation, yung validation set essentially is, yan yung, in a way, yan yung ginagamit na, yan yung ginagamit na pang test, <coughs> sorry, pang, <laughs> pang test kung gaano ka-accurate yung, yung model natin. Like, yung, yung validation set na to is part pa rin ng train set. So, uh, nakikita siya ni model, di ba? Like, uh, nakikita siya ni model, pero yan yung ginagamit to test kung gaano ka-accurate ka -accurate na si model. Like dito. This is how we get yung ito, validation loss and validation accuracy. Uh, actually, hindi naman siya necessary. Like, Pwede nyo yan tanggalin if you want. Or, yeah. Pwede nyo tanggalin to yung dalawang parts na to and then like, okay pa rin. Diga na pa rin yan. Ano lang, uh, sinama ko lang for, oh yeah, out of habit na rin. Kasi it's, uh, maganda rin kasi kung may validation split ka to see kung like, how well nag gumagana yung model mo. Anyway. So, let, let's wait lang a bit. Uh, Yung, tignan nyo yung accuracy, oh. Uh, actually, ito. Ito rin yung important thing. It's better to uh, to measure yung accuracy sa validation set. Oh. Instead of, like, the whole training set. Kasi, example, dito sa, dito sa validation set. Um, yung validation accuracy is, ano, 0.94 Essentially, 94%. Oh, and, and doon na tayo. Nasa 94% accuracy na tayo. Diba? Ang cool, di ba? And then we're like, we're just gonna wait. Yeah. Sa laptop ko, mga around 2, two to 3 seconds lang. Oh, wait, 2 to 3 minutes lang to. Pero anyway, let, let's wait a bit. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna scroll back up a let So, Justin, <laughs> bucket 6%? Oh my god. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna scroll up a let And then, to see kung nakafollow kayo. Yeah, okay. So, let, let, let's, let's see. <laughs> Ano kayo yung nangyari? That's so weird. Okay. Start from dito. Import libraries. <clears throat> um, download data set. Prepare data. Yes. Yung encoding, decoding. Extraction of pixels. Display of images. We processing one half encoding and hard max. Um, data split. Inspect the model. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ito. Start from here. Dito. Um, ano kaya yung reason? You've copied it properly. Yung activation function. Maybe uh, be, be careful sa activation function. Uh, and check kung same yung parameters natin. Model. Ito. 
Sweet lang a bit. Uh, ito, yung, ito yung boring part. Like, sometimes, nagtitrain ako ng models na for like hours or I don't know, days. Yeah. It, it takes time. A bit of time. Pero sa sa laptop ko, like, it, it, it just took, oh yay! It's, it's over. It's done. Yay! Katrin na natin yung model. So, um, what we could do next is plot yung history. Plot data frame history dot history uh, dot plot Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it works well. So now, um, okay. Uh, baka nag-wonder na kayo kung saan na yung test set. Okay, andito na tayo sa testing phase. So, um, test loss, test accuracy, to model that evaluate x test and y test so um, kung mapapansin nyo dito di ba dito yung x train and y train lang yung ginamit natin di ba uh -huh. dito naman yung y, y test and y train lang and look at that oh. yung accuracy natin is 95% Ang ganda na. Okay, uh, Justin, can you try again? Maybe, uh, medyo sketchy kasi yung 6%. Maybe, may typo ka somewhere, or I, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, yun na yun. So, um, okay. Now, how do we make predictions na? So, okay. Yay, we have this model na. Aha. Uh -huh. Siya tapos na tayo, actually. Like, we have this, 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 this. Aha. Uh -huh. So, um, now, what we want to do is, okay, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Oh yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry. One thing you could do is actually like ru run this whole thing sa <laughs> sa laptop mo, like just uh. One thing you could do is um, Yeah. Oh yeah, run mo na lang sa ano mo sa lo locally. If you could do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
may may model na tayo na 95% accurate. Yay! Okay, kung kung naabot niyo yung part na to, congratulate yourself. Okay, sino niyo yung nakaabot dito? Okay, uh, Justin, okay na ba yung ano mo? Uh, Jet, Jethro. Oh. Ha. Okay. Uh, okay, sili may may naka tapos na pa dito. Guys. Rap rap. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> Um, okay, ito na yung neural net detection image with the model that predict MP that expand So, uh, dito, in this part, in this part, we're just literally gonna copy this. Oh, uh, so, decode label hardmax uh, neural net prediction track pixels file name. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Rap, rap. Okay na yung sayo, right? Okay, um, so if ever, yan yan. Um, for example, um, Okay, um, okay, ngayon, kung natin yung directory. Okay, uh, okay, what we can do now is we could upload, I don't know, we could upload an image. Uh, for example, ako, I'm gonna upload, uh, wait lang. Okay, I'm gonna upload this. Uh, example 1, okay, there. Essentially, drag and drop lang kayo dito ng image. Example dito, example 1. 
uh, example one GPG. There, yan yung example one natin. Then let's predict. Let's take out. Ba. Tama naman, right? That's a ba. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. So, um, okay. Example number two. Example number two, I'm just gonna, may mga examples na ako dito na, like, I, I, I created on my own. Example two. Yeah. This is, if I'm not mistaken, this is, um, la, ata. Tama ba? Bye bye. Uh, this is la. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's correct. Yay, we're correct. Easy. Example three. Ka, okay. Tama naman, di ba? Ka, ka, ka. ka. Aha. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yeah, actually, that's that's how it works lang. And then, actually, ano, um, important to, uh, kung i-open niyo yung, ano, yung, Anyway, sorry. Um, actually, if if you check out yung mga images dito, um, oops. Okay, dito. If you check niyo yung images dito, actually yung background dito is white. Remember, okay, this is important. Uh, uh, Sorry, ah. What you can do is...
So, um, it, kay, kayo, let, let, test, test it out using this code. And then, um, oh, interesting. For example, the probability bar. Ah, okay. Oops. Really? Ah, pa. Ah, that's. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's la. There. Okay, na ba? Okay, fixed. So, um, okay, warning, warning na. <laughs> okay, um, actually, dito sa pag-display ko ng images, I'm sorry, um, na-invert ko yung colors. So, in, in reality, actually, um, white dapat yung background and then black yung ano. And then kayo, let, let's try out. Um, kung mag-drawing naman kayo, it's preferable na like, i-maximize nyo yung space. Uh, like, wag nyo liitan ng sobra kasi makukonfuse yan si, si neural network. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna draw. Uh, how? Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw stuff. How do I resize this? Then, I'm gonna draw. Uh, ano maganda ng draw? Um, maybe ta. Wait, ah, uh, hmm. Ano maganda? Or, or ito. Hmm. Or ha, ano ano maganda? Dana lang. <laughs> Di effort pa kami. Oops. Ah, okay. Bakit na pundal?
there okay Dara. Yay! That's correct. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, medyo nagdagal ako doon. Pero yeah. Anyway, yun na yun. You could, you could use this na to predict stuff. And... Uh, and then, maybe... If if you want to, mm -hmm. and then. Save. You could model that save uh, maybe by buying that H5. There, done. And then, ito, ito yung, yung by buying, yung by buying that H5 na to. Uh, sorry, that. You could download this naman. And then, kung ma-download mo na, pwede mo ilagay, let's say, sa um, Android app mo, or like, website mo, or somewhere. Yeah. That's, uh, that's for a future session na. So, okay guys. Um, may challenge ako para sa inyo. May challenge ako para sa inyo. Um, try nyo i-edit to. Like, ano yung mga layer sizes ito na optimal? Let's say, 512. Kasi, uh, let's say, 512, 256, 64, 19, or 128. Kayo, um, try nyo i-edit yung code. And then see kung ano yung results. So actually, uh, we could stop here. So guys, um, do you want me to discuss kung uh, paano nag-work yung neural networks?
นายอาอย่าง so um actually you could pili nyo i check yung mga images and then if tignan nyo you would notice na um Um, ano, yung mga drawings nila doon, medyo thick yung lines and na-occupy almost lahat ng spaces. Oh, so, um, kung magda-drawing kayo, try nyo i-maximize yung space and then patabahin nyo yung mga lines nyo. So, yeah. Um, para, hmm, bakit kaya mababa yung accuracy ng Justin? I think, <coughs> uh, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of confident naman na tama yung code ko since gumagana naman kay Rap Rap. So, uh, you probably missed some things. Pero don't, don't worry, Justin. Um, eh, I-share ko naman yung, ano, yung code for yung, yung notebook later. So, don't worry about it. Just do it again later na lang. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh. Hi, Mark. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. Can I order food lang muna? Baka, <laughs> baka ma mahalo na ako. Sige. Anyway, uh, In in five minutes, we will discuss now how neural networks work. Okay, all right. Ah, okay. Um, it it most probably ano, kasi um, kung titignan nyo yung mga images, di ba? Like yung mga paybayan. Um, manotis nyo na parang may similarity on kung paano sila drawing. Most probably yung 38,000 na yun na images, uh, drawing lang yun ng isang person. So um, so we trained or model sa drawings ng isang person. So, even if 95% accurate lang siya, uh, 95% accurate siya, 95% accurate siya sa drawing ng person na yun. So, not necessarily na accurate siya sa drawings mo. Uh -huh. So, um, I think, dito na rin, uh, dito na rin papasok, I think, yung, ano, yung may philosophical na, ano, uh, Parang sa machine learning kasi, even if highly accurate yung model mo, you shouldn't tr blindly trust it pa rin. Like, uh, yun nga, parang ito kasi yung distribution talaga is different. Uh -huh.
okay so So uh, it, ito rin actually yung ano ko concern ko sa paggamit ng machine learning sa example sa epidemiology and stuff kasi um ma parang how do I say this it's a uh, yun nga it's ha true na character Ah, yeah, you could try that actually and see what happens. Um, try nyo rin na ano, mag, mag, like, mag-drawing ng some random BS. Like, you'll see, mag-drawing kayo ng face ng person and then tignan nyo yung output. Yeah, you, you could draw in some kanji. Actually, uh, what, what would happen, I predict, is that um, it would pick yung, yung nearest na, nearest looking na ano, na baybayan character. Okay. So, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that, for the delay. Okay. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Let's now discuss kung... Uh, can I... Okay, can I stay here for a bit? Uh, okay, hanggang what time po? Hanggang 7 o'clock. Hanggang 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, so, sabi, other, can I stay there? Oh. Okay. <laughs> sorry. So, anyway, pinapaalis ako. So, <laughs> so sorry. So, UD po. Uh, so, then na lang. Oh. So, so I, I need to transfer. Okay. Sorry. Oops. vlog so okay i'm officially back okay um so let's uh let's discuss na on how neural networks work so uh guys um 
introduction lang to ah. So, um, hindi to deep. I, I really suggest na parang mag-take kayo ng like online classes about this. Uh, bigyan ko lang kayo ng intuition behind like how, how it works and all that. So, uh, okay. I, I hope naman na maintindihan nyo. Ano? Yeah. Okay. Introduction to neural networks. So, okay. We're here. Okay. Um, So, okay. So, um, to understand yung neural networks, I think it's best to ask kung, um, how, like, how do we make decisions? Example, uh, kung ikaw, uh, how do we, how do you, like, example, kung may ano, uh, um, how do I say this? Sorry. <laughs> Example, kung, kung may person na gustong umutang sa'yo, and then ikaw, like, okay, papautangin ko ba yung person na to or not? Or let's say, isipin mo na bank, bank ko ka, bank, like, bank, uh, bank employee ka. May gusto mag-loan. And then, ikaw naman, magagawa ka ng decision na, hmm, okay, based sa, ano, sa, um, sa income ng person na to, sa mga utang niya previously, kung gaano siya ka-offin nag-utang, papautangin ko ba siya or not? Di ba? Like, uh, before, uh, so iyon, so how do we make those kinds of decisions? Di ba? Um, any, anyway, uh, let's edit. Okay, sorry. For for example, dito, uh, in this case, um, So, in this case, example, ako, um, how do we decide, how do you decide kung maganda ba ako or, or, or a bad instructor? So, first, uh, we take note of kung ano yung alam nyo na sa akin, like ano yung na-experience nyo na sa akin. So, uh, so sorry, medyo na makalat, pero anyway. Um, so, uh, of course, we want to make, di ba, like, when we make decisions, meron tayo mga a lot of factors na we consider. So, uh, example, ano yung mga magagandang factors? Um, let's say, uh, clarity. Clarity of explanations. Uh, this should, uh, let's say this is factor na, uh, X, ano, uh, clarity, uh, expertise, um, ano pa, maybe clarity, expertise, maybe uh, communication skills. Yeah, there. Yan yung mga factors. And then, um, of course, from here, okay, guys, uh, if you uh, uh Okay, um, can you rate me sa tatlong factors na yun? Just be honest. Oh. So, out of 10. Sige, uh, okay, hypothetical na lang. Uh, hypothetical na lang. Uh, let's say, uh, uh, 
uh, let's say uh, clarity eight. Um, expertise nine, maybe three, say eight. Ganon. <laughs> sige. So um, let's say uh, it it yung sige. <laughs> sige. Thank you guys. Ah, uh, yung yung rating ko talang sa sarili ko. Maybe eight nine eight. Ganon. So uh, or let's say six. <laughs> so um. And then, di ba may mga factors tayo? And then, we rate these factors. So, um, sa other sa other decisions, let's say, kung papakotagin mo yung person, maybe um, you would consider yung income niya, or like, kung gano kalaki yung income niya, kung gano siya, kung nababayad ba siya ng utang niya, historically, ganun. Di ba, parang, um, when we make decisions, uh, we take uh, we consider factors and of course yung factors niyan we um we weigh them like may certain weight tayo sa factors na yun like some kind of importance in a way parang uh de depending on what's more important so example kayo uh, okay okay out of those three which one is most important Uh, so, ano, ano para sa inyo yung pinaka-important? Uh, clarity of explanations, expertise, or communication skills for someone to be a ano, uh, good instructor. One? Ah, okay, okay. So, one. Okay, so... Maybe, pwede natin lagyan ng weight, uh, let's say, uh, five, okay, two, kasi this is important, di ba? Yung weight niya is one. Maybe yung weight nito is 0.5. Di ba? So, uh, so, may mga factors tayo dito. Uh, eight, um, six. So, ganun. So, uh, yeah. So, we weigh them. So, like, uh, and then, like, essentially, we, we, parang intuitively, parang may score tayo, may some kind of, how do I say this? Like, yeah, score of yung decision. And then, meron tayong cut-off point. ba? Diba? Like, example, uh, parang, ba diba, kung we make decisions, parang may feeling tayo na, ah, okay, uh, I have a high feeling na papaot, na, na maganda siyang instructor. I, parang, di ba ganun, parang, or, let's see, kung nagpapaot ka ng person, like, okay, I have a high feeling, like, I am highly confident na, um, yung, na yung person na to, babayaran ako ulit. So, ganun. Um, so, yun. Um, pero, if we really make decisions na talaga, di ba parang, like, at the end of the day, parang we set a limit. Like, parang, okay, if I, if I am this confident or higher na, ano, then, sabihin ko na, okay, maganda siyang, ano, maganda siyang, teacher. Pero if I'm not, pero if mababa yung score or yung 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 feeling natin, like like okay, uh, bad siyang teacher ganun, 'di ba? Like we um so yeah, parang may limit tayo. Pero uh, okay, let's uh let's substitute lang back, 'di ba? Ito yung ito yung mga factors natin. Factor A, factor uh, factor 1, factor 2, factor 3. And then yung corresponding weights nila, kung how important they are. <clears throat> and then, if yung score nila is higher to a certain limit than a certain limit, then we make a certain decision. Uh, good. 
good teacher. Otherwise, bad yung teacher. Diba? Parang, diba, intuitive naman siya, diba? Yung, yung concept. So, uh, let's go back. Okay. Notice na, um, sa mga may alam na kung ano yung vectors, kung titignan nyo, ito siya, uh, uh, ito, this actually is just the dot product uh, of this. Uh, so, kung if you set W as the weights, X as the like, yung factors, yung, ano ng factors, yung rating ng factors, then, yung score mo is just yung dot product. Uh -huh. And then, if we, if we reorder natin, we will get this. Diba? Essentially, yung limit, in, in, inilagay lang natin dito sa left-hand left side, then, replace na substitute with B. Uh, hindi ba familiar to? Uh, isn't this familiar? This is actually just yung equation of a line. Like, di ba? Ito yung slope, ito yung intercept. Di ba? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then, let's encode na rin as earlier. Like, 1 means good, 0 means bad. Then, and ito siya, when you think about it, this is actually just a function. And this function, ito. Aha. Uh -huh. F. Mm -hmm. So, um, Yung input natin is x, and then, essentially, input natin ito, and then, it outputs 1 if it's greater than 0, or 0, zero otherwise. So, yeah. Yung tawag nito is a perceptron. Uh -huh. uh, so, um, bakit sila natawag na neural network? Well, um, when we go back, di ba, ito yung input, ito yung um, rating, di ba, like factor 1, factor 2, da -da -da -da, factor n. Ito yung mga rating ng mga factors. I-multiply natin sa mga weights. Ito yung mga weights. And then we sum them up. Di ba, like multiply, 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 then sum. Ito, ito yun. Sorry ah, babalik lang para, para ma-reinforce lang. Okay. Ito yung mga x. Yung mga W, multiply lang sila, then sum them all up. Ito. Ito. Multiply, sum, and then, we make a step function. Kung yung sum is greater than zero, then ibig sabihin, um, yung, uh, I'm a good teacher. Otherwise, I'm, I'm a bad teacher. ba? So, yung step function na to, this is, ito, ito siya. So, Kung greater than 0, output 1. Otherwise, output 0. So, uh, hindi ba to familiar? Yung whole thing? Look at this. Diba? Oh, so, uh, yung mga ano mo, yung mga inputs mo, ito yung mga dendrites. Ito naman yung sum. Ito yung step function. Ito yung output. Diba? Oh. Going back, tingin yung similarity. This is why tinawag silang neural networks. Kasi, they, in a way, parang graph, in a way, they kinda look like neural networks. So, um, it's actually false na yung, ano, yung biology-inspired this, what happened actually is that, um, di ba parang ang intuitive kasi nung math part, like, napunta sila dito, and then, may mga journalists na parang, they were like, okay, how do we explain this to the common folk? Tapos, may ma yung mga mathematicians, okay, this is what we're doing, tapos, yung journalist na yun nagsabi na, okay, uh, hindi ba to parang, ano, neuron lang. Tapos they were like, oh, okay, amazing. So yeah, yun yun. That's why na natawag siyang neural network. Parang, yun lang. Parang, it, they, they look like neural networks. Ang cool, di ba? Oh. 
Oh, wala lang. Nag-enjoy lang ako sa part nito kasi like, whew. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, let's skip na. So, um, actually, in real life, um, in real life, we don't actually directly decide, di ba? Like, example, based on factors, we decide ka agad. What we do usually is, <clears throat> we make smaller decisions like based on their on these factors uh we make like we make a conclusion then based on our conclusions um we make like some other conclusions then based on those on those conclusions uh, we make the big decision na, diba? like uh yan yung always hindi kan always yan yung usually nangyayari like Okay, like based on our data, we conclude that this, and then because of that, we conclude that this, and ganon, di ba? So, uh, actually, yung mga output, di ba? Ito yung, ito yung perceptron natin earlier. Ito yung another perceptron, or another neuron. Yung outputs nila, we could use them to make a final decision. Uh, like a bigger decision. Uh, so what happens is and then when you think about it parang like yeah mga uh, similar lang na yung structure as before uh di ba uh, so ngayon ito na yung multi-layer na perceptron so when you notice di ba ito yung inputs natin ito yung factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 factor 4 ganun and then we make this decision so like ito Ito yung ano natin earlier. We make we make this decision, this decision, ito, ito, ito. And then gagamitin natin yung mga smaller decisions na yun to make a bigger uh, to make bigger decisions ito. Uh, and then yung bigger decisions na to na, na ito, gagamitin natin for even bigger decisions ito. And then and so on and so forth until may final output tayo. Which is uh, which which ones ba dito? Uh, parang, di ba? Ito, ito ni yung nangyayari dito, actually. Um, kung tignan nyo dito, ito yung dense layer, di ba? Dense. Yung tawag dito, dense, because, kung tignan nyo, di ba, ang dense dito. So, uh, so yung nangyayari actually dito is, uh, we initialize a dense layer. Essentially, may 512 dito, like, uh, 512 of them. Uh -huh. And then, uh, 128 of them, 64, and then 19. Uh, so, yun yun, yun, yun yun actually yung nangyayari. Like, we have layers, layers, layers of, like, neural networks. Uh, intuitive naman siya, di ba? So, yeah, actually, that, that, that's how it works. And then, try nyo i-modify yung number of, ano, number of, like, Lay, like nodes dito uh, like try nyo mag experiment dito and then see what works what doesn't work and then, yeah basically yeah that, that's how neural networks work essentially hmm. so yeah uh, clear ba? Um, okay, guys. Um, may questions ba kayo? So, yeah. Uh, I will, I will, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung mga, ano na to, yung mga slides. So, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, yung mga codes and stuff. 
Kung may questions ka, just just ask. Wala. So, uh, yun lang yan. So yeah, okay guys. Um, I'm gonna wait for like five minutes to uh five to ten minutes to answer your questions. And kung wala na yun na yung end ng stream. All right. So um apparently wala na kayong questions so I guess yun yung end ng stream natin so thank you and uh, may next stream pa kami uh, in like one or two weeks from now so just subs <laughs> like and subscribe na lang <laughs> so yeah uh, Until next time, Alet. Bye-bye.